This Snow Tracks feature will be covering in detail the introduction of Polaris's first proprietary four-stroke snowmobile. Many of our viewers may not realize or may not remember that Polaris did come into the four-stroke business back in the mid-00s. While the existence of a Polaris four-stroke powered sled is a matter of history, it's probably a memory Polaris would rather forget. The IQ four-stroke and IQ turbo models were built on Polaris IQ platform using a normally aspirated and a turbocharged 750cc even firing Weber four-stroke motor. Interestingly, the engines were respectable performers and mostly reliable. It was other details which made this four-stroke duo notable. Our take from Polaris is this. We think that Polaris has wanted to be back in the four-stroke snowmobile business for some time, but they did not want to re-enter the snowmobile marketplace with anything but a proprietary in-house four-stroke motor. In other words, they wanted their next four-stroke powered sled to have a purpose-built proprietary engine. After all, Polaris does build exceptional four-stroke engines for use in their hugely popular fleet of side-by-sides and ATVs. So we've set the stage for this discussion. Polaris not only has a deep and rich four-stroke engine program, they've produced hundreds of thousands of their ProStar series of double overhead cam twin cylinder engines in both normally aspirated and turbocharged iterations. The ProStar used here is a 1,000cc version of the ProStar used in a number of Polaris Ranger and Razor side-by-sides. While Polaris won't specify exactly the output of the new S4 ProStar, we suspect it is likely in the 80 to 100 horsepower range, possibly closer to 90 horsepower. In any case, the ProStar series of double overhead cam engines has a formidable reputation for stout low-end torque and peak horsepower at a strong 8,000 RPM. Peak torque on this variant is right at 7,000 RPM. If those RPM numbers sound familiar, it's because all Polaris side-by-sides and ATVs using the ProStar engine series shift out at between 7,800 and 8,000 RPM. This makes these engines really suitable for snowmobile use. Another interesting feature of the S4 ProStar is the identical location for the primary clutch in relation to the jack shaft. The center of the primary clutch is located exactly where the 650 and 850 Liberty snowmobile engines sit. This is a big deal when shoehorning a relatively large four-stroke into the same space as a considerably smaller two-stroke. Another distinctive, according to Polaris powertrain engineer Matt Reeves, is the use of a dry sump lubrication system. This kind of oiling system gets rid of a large oil pan, allowing the engine to sit much lower in the chassis. This is a far more critical system in a snowmobile than in a side-by-side. -side. Snowmobiles are more sensitive to center of gravity than an ATV or side-by-side -side might be. Dry sump oiling means there is a remote oil reservoir under the hood with its own dipstick. Another carryover from the ProStar series of off-road engines is a 270-450 firing order. This firing order generates a cadence that sounds like a V-twin, but even more importantly, that firing order allows for better cold weather starting. Even though the ProStar S4 engine uses a counterbalancer like the side-by-side -side ATV variants, the counterbalancer design and weight is unique to the S4. We asked Matt Reeves why Polaris opted for a twin cylinder four-stroke power plant rather than a triple. The answer is both simple and complex. Using a twin cylinder design allowed for significantly more efficient underhood packaging. There was no need to cast another bulkhead and develop all new bodywork to hold and cover a triple cylinder engine. The S4 project started way back in 2015. That was when the first Axis chassis was launched. Polaris has enormous resources surrounding the ProStar engine series. Using a twin was mostly a no-brainer from the early days of S4 development. One must also recognize the economies of scale using a ProStar twin cylinder engine platform provides. We think it worth mentioning this reality as well. We would not bet against Polaris hanging a turbocharger and intercooler under the current Matrix bodywork, which already contains a ProStar twin. 
The aforementioned packaging and the use of a twin cylinder engine becomes more relevant when you realize that there's probably going to be a turbocharged version of this ProStar motor in the future, and it will fit handily underneath the current bodywork. The ProStar S4 comes with a tri-mode DBW drive-by-wire throttle actuator. We were very concerned about this before we had a chance to try it out. Thankfully, the system works flawlessly with virtually no throttle lag or lazy throttle pickup. At 6,000 feet in sport mode, you would have to know you're using a DBW throttle. It is seamless. The inherent benefit of DBW is the ultralight thumb actuator. Riders with smaller hands will really appreciate this feature. Now there is no downside to DBW. We asked Matt if it was inherently harder on a four-stroke engine pulling around an ATV or a side-by-side -side or a snowmobile. He answered very quickly and said, it is tougher on a four-stroke motor pulling a snowmobile around. He made it clear the higher RPM profile that's always in play and the constant load characteristic of all snowmobiles, which don't coast like wheeled vehicles, works an engine much harder Therefore, the S4 is built stout and strong to handle this extra stress that four-stroke snowmobiling brings to the motor.